If you guys are looking for things to do in St. Thomas Island, keep watching this video. We're here at the Heaven Sight Mall. It has three main buildings. You got all the shopping you ever want and need. You got clothes, you got jewelry, watches, glasses, all kinds of things. Right here, stepping right off the cruise ships. All right, so we just got off the cruise ship. All you guys have to do is follow the taxi lines all the way through the Heaven Sight Mall. And then you keep going all the way down and you're gonna see this behind me, a bunch of people standing around. You got the trucks and everything. It's $25 per person if you want an island tour. That's what we're gonna do right now. It's a lot cheaper than getting one on your cruise ship. So look out for them, 25 bucks. We're gonna show you guys what it's gonna include and let's go get it. Okay, right here St. Thomas, St. John and St. Croix belong for United States. First stop on our tour is McFoley. It's a restaurant and hotel, but we're actually at a viewpoint right next to it, and it looks beautiful right behind me. You can see three cruise ships. The most cruise ships that could be here at one time is three. So if you see three, best believe the island's gonna be pretty packed. So be prepared for that. People do drive on the left side of the road here. So be ready for that. We hit the corner around the mountain and uh, it freaked me out a little bit. But if you're gonna rent a car, drive on the left side. We are here now at the top of the mountain, the world famous mountaintop at St. Thomas Island. It took about 20 minutes to go all the way up the island. It's pretty slow. Uh, you can't go fast because it's windy roads. And we are about to show you guys the beautiful view from all the way at the top. And there's also a little bit of shopping to do here as well. We are at the world famous banana daiquiri, so we might need to try it to tell you how it tastes. Yes, I agree with that. Wow, 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 it is a nice view up here. We're going now to Megan's Bay. Which is right behind us. Excuse me, do you know where I could get a world famous banana daiquiri? That way? Oh. They also sell the Daiquiri Banana World Famous in a souvenir cup. 10 out of 5 to try the Banana Daiquiri. Let's do it. It's good. I'm gonna say that's world famous. I don't even like banana flavored, but for being a world famous Daiquiri, I do like it. It's really good. Would you say it's world famous good? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are interested in shopping, they have all kinds of shirts over here. They also have magnets and don't forget they have rum. So if you want to take back some rum, here you go. Guys, I'm not sure what's going on in the sky right now, but there's this crazy ring around the sun. Do not know what it is. I will Google it afterwards to try to explain it to you guys because I don't even know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. So the tour guide just dropped us off at Megan's Bay. We're on our own from here and we cannot wait to see the beach. It looks beautiful from here, but we haven't seen it up close yet. You guys, we finally made it to the beach and it looks beautiful. Look at this picturesque beach right behind us. We made it to Megan's Bay Beach Bar. I'm gonna show you guys what the menu looks like just in case you wanna grab a drink and the prices, but this is a great location because it's right next to the beach.
right next to the bar is Megan's Bay Cafe. We're gonna find pizza, a hamburger, salad, all that you can eat right next to the beach with this amazing view. but that's not many of waitress so that's why you can go straight to the bar which is not that far and you can just enjoy your drink in the beach it costs five dollars per person to come here to Megan's Beach there are restrooms here and that's included you do not have to pay extra for that there are a lot of things that you could rent here with a cash deposit. You have lounge chairs, you have regular chairs, you have lockers, towels, umbrellas, all that good stuff. You can see the list right here on the screen. That's how much they charge for everything. And remember, there is a deposit. The only bummer or con about it is you have to drag your chair all the way where you're gonna be at. I have seen some of the employees dragging the chairs, so maybe if you offer them a little tip, they might help you out and they might drag it to you. There are a couple of green picnic tables that they're here, but it's first come first serve. We did get lucky and we shared a little piece of it, but do not count on it. One more thing is you do not have to rent any of the chairs. We brought our towel and we laid it out. A couple other people did the same thing. That's free, you do not have to pay to lay your towel out. The water here is nice and warm. And for all of those that were asking if there's lifeguards here, yes, there are lifeguards on duty. If you guys are interested in seeing fish inside the water, there are two reefs on the opposite sides here at Megan Bay. You got one behind me and the other one's all the way on the other side. It cost us $8 per person to go from Megan's Bay all the way down to downtown. So that's $8 per person. It also costs $8 per person to go down to the cruise ports. But we decided to come here because we still have time left and we're gonna check out Gladys's restaurant. We heard uh, it's good from one of the locals, so let's go check it out. you're gonna see three main streets the waterfront street which is close to the sea and the main street and then the back street there are a bunch of jewelry here a bunch of restaurants and a lot a lot of things to see we made it to Gladys cafe it's on main street inside of Gladys cafe it is really nice it looks like you're eating inside of a cave it's really fresh they have ac on and i'm not too hungry right now but i just ordered a couch chowder to try it out and some avocado and chips i ordered the jerk wings they're gonna put the jerk sauce on the side because i don't know <laughs> i didn't want it to be too hot and i want to eat some food so i told them to put the sauce on the side so we're gonna see how hot it is really good really creamy it's not hot it's really good I like it the guacamole is mixed with something else it has tomato too onions but I'm gonna put a little bit of salt because I don't know I, I can taste the flavor yeah I did a little dip because I don't know how hot it's gonna be It's not that hot, maybe because it's my first bite. It is not that hot. I thought it was gonna be a little bit hotter. I'm gonna check in with you guys right now if it gets hotter after more bites. So the jerk wings, it did get a little bit hotter, but I was expecting it to be way hotter than that. I actually liked it. And I also liked the chip with guacamole. The guacamole, I think it had a mango spicy sauce and it, it was good. So I, did rec I do recommend going there. At the waterfront street, you can see your ship. So from here, you can walk to your ship or you can pay $4 per person in the taxi. 
We are now in front of a greenhouse restaurant and bar. We really like this because it overlooks the ocean. The thing is we haven't ate here so we can't tell you how the food tastes or how the drinks are, but we have heard from a local that this is one of the spots to eat at. homesick you know where to go another thing to do here in st. Thomas is the st. Thomas sky ride it is $21 to go all the way to the top and it's a nice view from up there they also have a museum so you could purchase the sky tram and museum together as a combo for $37 so look out for that if that's what you guys are trying to do It took 25 minutes. We were walking pretty slow from downtown to the cruise ship area. If you guys wanna check out more videos like this, look in the description box and we'll see you guys next video.